Hola, ¿qué tal, gente? Bienvenidos de nuevo al canal y bienvenidos a otro vídeo más de Life is Strange, si diréis mucho. Xavi, pero si ya subiste el episodio 2, que fueron dos horas de vídeo, desgraciado. Sí, vale, los que hayáis visto el vídeo del episodio 2 de Life is Strange y si no lo habéis visto, lo tenéis en el canal. O sea que este vídeo contiene spoilers muy tochos, o sea que te recomiendo ver el vídeo. En ese caso, si recordáis el episodio 2, al final intentamos salvar a Kate sin éxito y se suicida. Y al final del capítulo yo digo... No estoy seguro de si esto es así obligatoriamente o si se le puede salvar. Lo que voy a hacer ahora es rejugar el capítulo. Por, sí, voy a rejugar el capítulo bien porque aparte me dejé un par de cosas por hacer. Que no sé por qué no hice, fue por vaguería realmente. Y voy a intentar salvar a Kate. Creo que sé más o menos cómo hay que salvarla. Lógicamente lo que es esta parte del vídeo, que vais a tener a la continuación después de un corte, va a ser la parte de Kate y de cómo la salvo. Y el próximo capítulo, el episodio 3, que aún no tiene ni siquiera fecha de cuándo saldrá, cuando estoy grabando esto, igual esto lo estás viendo dentro de 4.000 meses de cuando se ha subido el vídeo y ya ha salido el episodio 3 y la temporada entera, pero bueno. Eh, cuando salga el episodio 3 lo haremos bien, lo haremos habiendo salvado a Kate, ¿vale? O sea que ahora nos vemos. Yes. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? I was with Chloe, and she was having a serious problem too. I'm sorry. Apparently her problem is worse than mine, so why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No, you're not. And I'm here for you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! 
I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. <laughs>